Hi, my name is Patrick. I'm the author of Webify Your Business, Internet Marketing Secrets for the Self-Employed. Uh, this video is going to be about achieving success, what's required to achieve success, and what a lot of the motivational speakers that are out there are saying, uh, and frankly, things that I disagree with. Uh, just recently, I went to an event by T. Harv Eker, uh, the Millionaire Mindset uh, events. He does a whole bunch of events, and they do an outstanding job. I mean, this company is literally at the top of the ranks when it comes to these sorts of seminars, and they do an excellent job. Uh, but it was one of these introductory uh, sessions where you could go for free to kind of get a flavor of what it is they do. Uh, and then, of course, they tried to sell you, you know, a, a larger three-day event. Uh, but the message was that you need to have the right mindset for success. Your mind, you have to think the right way to achieve success. And they looked at a bunch of different examples where there were some successful people who thought a certain way, like Donald Trump and others. And then, of course, the rest of everybody that doesn't think that way, and so therefore they don't achieve success. Uh, and this is pretty common from a lot of the motivational speakers that are out there, uh, Tony Robbins and others. They all really focus on the belief system of believing that you can be successful, uh, that you deserve to be successful, that it's safe for you to be successful, and that that's really the starting point. Uh, and, and inevitably, in their presentations, they always at some point mention that you have to take massive action, right? But, but they, it, they gloss over it like crazy. So that maybe they take five or ten seconds and they say, you know, mindset, mindset, mindset. You have to have the right mindset. You have to think a certain way. Then you have to take massive, massive action, and then you're successful. And so the massive action is completely glossed over. That's what I disagree with. Uh, I think if you look at all the successful people in the world and compare them to all the people who are less successful or maybe not successful at all, the, differenti the differentiator is not their belief system. I mean, it might be at the end result, but in terms of where they got started, how the process began for them, the difference was massive action right consistent massive action and people have a, a real misconception of what it means to take consistent massive action what does that actually mean uh, for example massive action uh, you know let's say you know you make a hundred phone calls right? that's not massive action uh, maybe 10,000 phone calls, right? I mean, and I'm not saying just phone calls. Obviously, you have to do a whole bunch of different things to achieve success, depending on what your business you're looking to build. Uh, it's going to be different for every business. But you've got to take massive action over a large period of time. In fact, like years in many cases. Uh, now, look, some people get there really quick. They kind of stumble on something that really catches on, and it goes very fast for some people. Uh, certainly faster for some than others. But if you look at some of the success stories, many times uh, the people who are being interviewed will say things like, I worked on this for 12 years or nine years. And it, you know, I look at myself, for example. I mean, I went self-employed seven and a half years ago, right? I've taken massive action over those seven and a half years. Uh, so what is massive action really? I mean, it's, it's the kind of thing where you beat your head against the wall so hardcore, wondering if what you're doing is working or if it's the right thing or if you're ever going to make it. It's the kind of thing where your friends and family, you don't want to answer their questions anymore of how are things going because even though you know you've made progress, you can't really show it to them because they don't understand the process. So for them, if you're still struggling today the same way you were last year or two years ago, to them it's the same even though you know you've made progress, right? That's massive action. Massive action is where you keep going over and over, like those sports cars that have 16 layers of paint. It's the same thing. You do this, you do that, you do this, you do something else, you do something else, you pile it on top, you pile it on top. Picture like a 10-story building built out of brick, a brick 10-story building, and you've got to lay every brick one by one. That is massive action. That's what results in success. And I'll tell you something else. If you do it that way, one brick at a time, keep going, keep fighting, going out there and having a street fight every day for three years, right? Getting success is a function of brute force, right? It's a function of overwhelming your competition to make it indisputable that you deserve success. That's what massive action is. And once you start getting the success, your mindset changes quickly.
and then you start to see how hard you worked and the confidence that you have in your own abilities, your own tenacity, that's what starts to grow. Now, you can try and create that effect at the beginning, but without the massive action, it's never going to convert. If you start with massive action, and don't worry about failing because you're probably almost guaranteed you're going to fail a ton of times. I failed at almost everything I've ever done. Right? And I just keep doing it. I do it wrong the first time and that means I can do it better the second time. And I do it over and over and more and more things and I keep failing at this, that and the other until I get it right and I stack up those bricks one by one. Uh, that can change your mindset. That can build your confidence. To the point where when you walk into a room or you walk on a stage or you interact with people at a networking event, they can tell that you're a street fighter. They can tell that you're a foot soldier, that you've gone out there and you've fought a hundred battles and lost 40 of them, right? <laughs> or lost 80 of them, but you won 20 and it puts you ahead of where you were before. Uh, so if you're looking to get success, uh, which I think we all are, don't worry about the mindset too much at the beginning worry about massive action. Uh, if you get that part right over the course of weeks, months, and years, you're going to develop a huge platform for yourself and that's going to build your confidence and that's going to change your mindset. And I'll tell you something, once you've gone through it and you've got the mindset and then someone comes and destroys everything you've built, you've gone through all that trial and error. You know how it's done. You can do it again. Uh, and that's the end result that those guys are talking about with Donald Trump or whoever else. They've gone through it. They've won the battles. They've lost the battles. And if, they get, if everything gets taken away, they know exactly what to do to build it up again. Massive action. Uh, start there and you'll get there faster.